uh, this is going to be our new one of our new uh, series on our YouTube channel, um, which is going to be every Wednesday. I'm going to show you some cool stuff uh, that you can do on your website or just around the World Wide Web, uh, which will help you with your online network. Um, so the first video, uh, first one we're going to do today is how to create a good looking website. My first tip, uh, which is I do quite a lot, we do at the pop-up business store quite often, um, is look at other people's. If you're starting a cake business, look online at some other people's cake businesses, uh, look at their website, see how they do it. Uh, if you're a photographer, look at other photographers online. If, you, uh, if you're a motivational speaker, look at other speakers' things. Find people in your industry that are already successful that's the important bit, is make sure they're successful because they're doing something right already. See what they get their customers to do and see how they make the overall layout because that's the sort of thing that you're going to want to do. That'll help you with your inspiration. Um, I've got one in front of me here. Um, it's a photographer I met in Reading. Uh, her name is Alana Harmsworth. I'm sure she won't mind me showing you her website. It's bloody beautiful. Um, you can see straight away she's a photographer. She's got a massive, really nice looking image straight away in front of us. Like, game on, she's a photographer, that's what we want to see. Um, you can also see that it's so simple, it's got her logo straight down below that, get in touch. That's what she wants us to do. That's like the most important bit, we need to know what we want our customer to do, otherwise what's the point in the website? What are we trying to get them to do? What's the point in them even coming to the website if there's no end game? We scroll down, like, it works really nicely. This is all stuff you can do in Weebly. Um, she's the product. She's the photographer. She's what you buy. And she's got a description of herself, photo of herself. Like, that's trust straight away. Uh, really nice, really simple uh, sort of stuff. Go straight down to her portfolio. All it needs is for the per person to know what you do, trust you, m most important, trust you, uh, and be able to get in contact with you or buy your service. Those are the most important things you need to do. Look at other people's. You can get so many ideas. If you're a photographer and you're watching this, look at her website, see how she does it. I know she gets some good business, so she's doing something right. So have a look through and see what goes. I'll put her uh, link to her website down in the description below. The second tip I wanna give you, I've already slightly touched base on, is think about what you want your customer to do. If they come to your website, they need to know why they're at your website. If you've brought them over from social media or they've taken it from your business card or you've told them and they've gone onto your website, found it on Google, whatever way they've got to your website, there needs to be a next step because it's not good enough for them to just go to it and go, that's cool, and then go away. So we need to know what we want the customers to do. Um, an example of that, uh, I'll actually use, um, without being vain, I'll use my own website. Straight away you know what I need you to do, which is shop now because it's the button, it's like the only thing on screen. Click shop now, you can see it takes them straight to the products that I sell. Like it's so easy, so quick and so simple and it's so obvious of what I want them to do. So when a customer goes to my website and I can see from the stats and all that in the back end of Weebly, I can see what page they're going to and where they're going from. That's my second important step is know what you want your customer to do. So important. Like you only have, uh, I think the average is something like four seconds roughly uh, to make a good impression with your website. Think about how you can do that for your customers. That gives my, my other point is who's your customer? My next, my final point, my most important point. Who's your customer? If your website is not simple and it's not aimed at your customer, they're gonna leave. They're not gonna be interested because you haven't grabbed their attention. You need to grab their attention and hold it until they go through to what it is you want them to do. Thanks for watching our first uh, website Wednesday. It's been good fun. Um, we're gonna do probably a series of about 12 or a dozen more of these. Um, they're gonna be a little bit shorter. This one was a little bit more in-depth introduction into what we're actually gonna be doing. Uh, the next ones are gonna be really short, hopefully 90 seconds, how to do this, 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 and this. So they're gonna be really quick, really useful, really bite-sized information. Another thing to add as well, throughout the whole course of this series, uh, every Wednesday, I'm actually going to be building uh, a Weebly website with you. Um, I'm gonna incorporate all of the stuff that I, talk, I talked to you about. Um, so we're gonna add PayPal buttons, we're gonna add the images, we're gonna add the content, we're gonna build the pages. Everything that I'm gonna teach you, I'm gonna build and I'm gonna show you how to make a very simple, very good looking website. And we'll create it together. You know, uh, Send us some comments, tweet us, uh, communicate with us what you want the website to be about, 
how you want the website to work, what you want it to do, all that stuff. Let's create it together and let's, uh, let's teach you some stuff as well. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next week.